Welcome back to Everyday Fitness. I'm Liam. Nice to see you again. Hope you're well. Hope you're living your best life. So, fat loss is an equation that a lot of people are trying to find the answer to, aren't they? But a lot of people go wrong with something, right? Some factor of their fat loss goal. Teams seems to take a turn for the worse, and that's not ideal, is it? So we've kind of briefly spoke on each factor that goes into it, sort of indirectly, right? So we've talked about like your sleep, your stress, the importance of structure and routine when it's coming to fat loss, okay? Every sort of little beneficiary that is going to sort of help uh, help you reach your goal, okay? But now, what I want to touch on is what we need to actively be doing to sort of achieve this fat loss, right? In the easiest way it's gonna come about. Now, a lot of people sadly are misled still into believing that fat loss ultimately derives from doing shit loads of cardio. Now, as great as that is for a variety of different reasons, it is not the be all and end all, unfortunately. I'm sorry to hear that. Um, but what is important, okay, and the fundamental sort of groundwork that we need to be putting in is some form of resistance training, right? If you're not resistance training, the probability is that you are slowly uh, dropping weight, okay? Not necessarily body fat, it could be through muscle tissue as well. And we want to make sure that we're doing everything we can to be as efficient as possible more than anything. So it's gonna be a combination of a lot of different things that go into it, okay? And there's three main things that I want to go through. Number one, like I said, resistance training. This is really, really important. I know at the moment gyms aren't open and it's shit and we're all depressed because gyms aren't open and we can't lift heavy weights. But we've got to make the best of a bad situation right now and that involves using what we have around us now if you have a band or any form of gym equipment you can make this work i've had a band and that's it for about three months since the end of march since we went into lockdown I'm, i've done quite well with that and um, so we just need to make sure that we are doing some form of training now me and matt both have uh, put together free templates okay now if you want a free template for a workout plan because you're not too sure what you're doing drop uh, a comment below and we can send that over to you okay that's not a problem second thing that we're going to go through okay is steps as expenditure okay now essentially for fat loss it's just calories in versus calories out and effectively so we need to effectively be consuming less than we're expending and steps is going to help towards that so if you particularly struggle sometimes with your appetite and you find yourself really hungry throughout the day probability is your calories are too low okay or your expenditure is too high right so we need to find a balance with that what i would say is if you're if you're sort of prone to sort of snacking and cravings and stuff i would just make sure your expenditure remains high so your calories can remain as high as possible okay and that is essentially gonna sort of introduce steps and your step goal i would be Obviously, it's dependent and subjective to each individual and their goal. However, I'll be reaching anywhere from 8,000 up to 12,000 as, as a sort of ballpark figure. If you're hitting around them, that sort of step goal, I think you're doing well. Okay, I know that's, I know obviously for some people at the moment, given lockdown restrictions, I know they've been eased, but I think some people still find it difficult to to potentially reach the step goal that they once were when everything uh, was, was, was how it was before. However, it's just the sort of self-discipline factor that you've got to go for in this instance. Okay, and the last one I want to go through is important. However, I'm going to put a disclaimer out there and it is cardio, right? I spoke about it at the start of the video. Cardio is important. However, it's not essential, right? Cardio is merely a tool for fat loss, in my opinion. Um, it's not something that we rely on necessarily. It's just very, very similar to steps, okay? It's just an added way to increase your expenditure throughout the day. So again, it's good for... Um, obviously CV fitness, so your cardiovascular fitness um, as well. However, when we're sort of just focusing primarily on, on fat loss alone, I think if we are sort of prioritizing cardio over resistance training, it's not gonna be an, an efficient way of expending energy, okay? Now, what I would do is with cardio is I wouldn't sort of immediately go towards it in first instance, I would make sure that you are on the correct calorie targets to be dropping weight each week consistently, um, making sure you're hitting your step goal, okay? And then seeing where you are at to then introduce cardio, okay? So don't immediately just spray sessions out left, right and center. I would take it nice and slow, introduce maybe one to two per week, low intensity, nothing high intensity, okay? Just maybe 25 minutes a day walk, incline walk on a treadmill, that's great. 
Um, like I said, it is just very similar to steps, okay? You're just increasing the expenditure throughout the day. And again, this is really helpful in part for people who potentially struggle with appetite um, and hunger. So if you find that your appetite really does kick in late at night and you find yourself craving, almost cheating, uh, slash potentially binging in, in the worst cases, then I would just make sure that cardio is potentially introducing them situations just because it's going to increase your overall sort of calorie expenditure for the day, which means that you can still have sufficient calories to remain um, sort of full and satisfied throughout the day without sort of entering a surplus. We want to make sure that we are remaining in a deficit as much as we can, okay? Now, we've spoke about deficits before. I would just make sure if you are starting out with your fat loss goal, I'm not going to go too deep because it's not the purpose of the video. However, if you are just starting out, I would make sure that you aren't chucking yourself into such a deep calorie deficit that essentially you can't sort of control it and stick to it sustainably. Okay, so anywhere between three to 500 calories, I would recommend uh, at first would be sort of a good starting point. Again, from there, I would give yourself a week, two weeks, just to see what happens with your weight, see how much you drop. Remember, at the start of any sort of fat loss goal, you will potentially be dropping more weight at the start. That will be more prominent. So make sure that you're taking a sort of an average that isn't sort of biased, okay? and no skewed results, so just make sure that you're consistent with it, take your weight, and then you can assess from there. But again, importance of this video is just making sure that we are resistance training, okay? Even with the equipment that we have at the moment, just make the best of a bad situation. Like I said, me and Matt have done templates. We've got free work, uh, home workout programs available for everybody, okay? So if you do want one, drop a comment below and we'll get it sent out. Other than that, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, it'd be great if you subscribed because we do it every week. Uh, it's not for the good of our own health. We're, try we're trying to help the world, mate. Um, and smash a like on the video. If you've got any other questions or any other videos that you'd like to see, just drop a comment below. All right. Thank you, guys.